Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Today we are going to be learning how to make our spirograph circuit. And the first step in making our spirograph circuit is making our motor circuit. So let's go ahead and get started. So to make the motor circuit, we're just going to need a few materials. Uh, the first being a motor. The second being our switch. And then last but not least, we're going to need a coin cell battery. First step, we're going to take our black wire. We're going to make sure we have some wire that's exposed. And using a small piece of copper tape, we're going to attach it to the negative side of the battery. Not the side with the plus, the negative side. Okay, next we're going to take our red wire on our switch and we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to put it on the positive side. And next, our final step is to take our red wire from our motor and our black wire from our, our switch and wrap them together. Okay. So finally, this is where our scotch tape comes in. You can use some scotch tape and just wrap around your two connections. And this is our motor circuit. Okay, so now that we've set up our motor circuit and we know that it's in working, working order, we can set that to the side and get our materials for the next part of the spirograph uh, together. So you're going to need some paper, uh, thicker paper works better, but any kind will do, or even cardboard. Uh, you're going to need some tacky material. I have a little, uh, this is way more than we need, but, and we're going to need our copper tape. So the first step is to use your copper tape and use the in inner ring to help make a circle. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our scissors and cut out the circle. Okay, so here is my circle. And one thing that I, I do want to mention is I, I wanted to go with the circle. It could be a square. It could be a slightly larger circle, a slightly smaller circle. But this is my recommendation. I think that this works best. Next, I'm going to take some of my tacky material and I'm just going to tear a little bit a little piece off. Yeah, that's about enough. Okay, and now we can actually work with our spirograph. We are done. Now uh, what we do is we can get our marker, our pen, our colors, and turn on our spirograph. So this is one variation of our uh, spirograph circuit. And what we could have also done is use our paper motor circuit. And this helps keep it in place. This helps keep the motor in place. And it's easier to see how the connections are working, but both work just as fine. You could also just stick uh, some tacky material on the bottom side of, of this motor and place it on the table if you don't want it to move around too much. But this is also a option that we have and it works just as well.